Hi there, so today I'll be talking about cancerous genes and dragons and what mutations in these genes can lead to. Uh, so our affected genes that we looked at were genes X, Y, and Z. In this chart here, uh, I have our types of tumors that can come about and the mutations in which genes that lead to them. Uh, so for throat cancer, we knew that there was a family history that looked like mutated gene X led to throat cancer. Now for benign, we saw that both X alleles were mutated and we had a wild or normal type for genes Y and Z. Uh, for malignant tumors, uh, we had both X, were, uh, both X genes were mutated and one Y gene was mutated with a normal Z. And then for metastatic, we had both X genes mutated, one Y mutated, and one Z mutated. So on this next slide here, we'll talk about the different types of tumors. Uh, benign is a mass of abnormal cells that remain localized and don't affect the surrounding tissues. These aren't necessarily harmful unless maybe the size of it's pushing on your windpipe. Uh, malignant uh, cancerous cells invade the surrounding tissues, so kind of like bladder cancer or lung cancer. Uh, metastatic, the cancerous cells spread through the bloodstream and create tumors in other parts of the body, so maybe it started in your throat and then you ended up having bladder cancer. For our types of genes, we have a tumor suppressor that prevents potentially cancerous cells from dividing uncontrollably. Both alleles of this have to be mutated in order to lose function. Uh, we have a proto-oncogene that promotes normal cells to divide. A mutation in one allele will lead to an oncogene that allows for uncontrolled cell division. So for gene X, uh, normally uh, this gene would suppress cell division in cancerous genes, specifically in the throat. Uh, tumor it, because it requires two mutations to cause a tumor i think it's a tumor suppressor uh, the effect of this mutation uh, in most areas of the body would lead to a benign tumor to form or in the throat at least a throat cancer i think of it as a driver's ed car because if the student fails to hit the brake uh, there is a, an instructor to hit the brake for them so in gene y normally this would promote cell division in normal cells I think it's a proto-oncogene because only one mutation in the gene leads to a tumor to form. Uh, the effect of this mutation leads to a harmful metastatic tumor. I think of this as a self-driving car where the computer forgets to stop and then you end up rear-ending the car in front of you. For gene Z, normally this promotes cell division in healthy cells. I think it's a proto-oncogene because like gene Y, only one mutation was needed for a tumor to form. Uh, this mutation allows for the cells, the cancer cells to metastasize and they spread throughout the body. I think of this as a self-driving car that gets onto the interstate and just floors it. Here are my references. Thank you so much for watching.